Hi, I'm Snorlaxan. And I'm Lulu the Pikachu. We're both competitive Pokemon players who compete in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon matches. For those of you who don't know your Pikachus from your Porygons, we're here to kickstart your Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon journey, all the way from the very basics up to competing in battles with your friends and family. And for those of you who are already on your way to becoming a Pokemon Master, this series will be packed with loads of hints and tips that will have you thinking like a true ace trainer and then you'll be able to compete among the very best. Last time, we showed you how to develop a strong team that will allow you to conquer the Alola region. In this video, we will go one step further and show you things in the Alola region you might not necessarily be aware of. So after finishing the main story, what else is there to do? You can always go and take on the Battle Tree, which is a really cool feature on Pony Island. It's a really good way of determining how consistent your team is in battle, and it also allows you to fine-tune and make a few tweaks to your team as you go along. Every 10 battles, you'll also see a familiar face from another region, so it can be quite an exciting adventure to take part in. Another thing you can do is attempt to assemble Zygarde. Zygarde is an incredibly powerful Pokémon, but unfortunately it's been scattered across the Alola region in cells and cores. To assemble Zygarde, you're going to have to search every corner of Alola to find those elusive cells and cores. The best way to find them is to look out for their telltale green glimmer, and I recommend looking not only during the day, but also during the night as well. Another really cool thing to do is to travel throughout Alola and look for Pokéfinder spots. In these locations, you can whip out your Pokéfinder and take loads of really cool pictures of Pokémon throughout Alola. My best picture is this one. That one's not bad, but is it as good as this one? There's an easy way to settle this. We can see how many likes they get. The amount of likes you get is determined by how rare your Pokemon is and how good your photo is. And my one will be the best. So although the Alola region has so much to offer, if you want to take your game online, there's a whole new universe to explore. If you go into the Festival Plaza, you can do so many different things in terms of trading with people from around the world or battling them as well. You can even participate in online global missions. Those are really fun. You can do things like collecting poker beans or catching a certain amount of Pokemon. And with that, you work as a team with people all around the world to reach the mission goal. And remember, if you help complete these online missions, you'll get some great in-game rewards. For those of you who have yet to explore the Alola region, now is your chance. We've got five copies of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon to give away so that you can start your adventure. For your chance to win one of these copies, comment down below telling us who you think had the best poker finder skills, myself or Lou, or tweet at us at Nintendo UK using this hashtag. Please give us a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe to Nintendo UK on YouTube so that you can follow more of these videos in the series. Now you've got a strong team by your side, you can go out into the Alola region and take on any opponents that come your way. Join us next time when we will take a look at the different battle modes available in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. We'll provide you with our hints and tips for success and how to become the ultimate Pokemon trainer. See you next time.